Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to remove Copilot from Microsoft Office, the Windows Taskbar, Microsoft Edge, and then also the Windows Search Box. All right, so we're going to show you how to do it in Office first, and then we'll move on to the other ones. And there are various ways to do this for some of the other options, so we'll talk about that in a minute here. All right, so we have Microsoft Word open here. So you notice when we open a new document, we have all this stuff at the top here. And you can right click and you have Copilot options and you have Copilot up here as well. So if you're never going to use it and you don't want to use it, you can simply turn it off. So this isn't actually removing it, it's actually just disabling it in Word. So this will also work the same for Excel. So you can see we have the Copilot icon there. We could right click. We have Copilot suggestions. We have this little Copilot icon right there as well. All right, so to do so for Office, so this process will work the same for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, probably Outlook too if you have it integrated into your Outlook. All right, so just go to the options from the file menu here. And go to the Copilot section. Uncheck Enable Copilot. Click OK. And then you'll see it's grayed out here. And you don't have all the Copilot stuff up here. And then the same for Excel. And you can see for Excel, you have the option here to show Copilot icon only for highly relevant suggestions. So that's another option there. So now you can see it's grayed out. And we right click. We don't have the Copilot options. All right, so that was for Office. So now we're going to hop on a different computer and show you how to get rid of some more Copilot options. All right, so on this computer here, you can see we have Copilot pinned to the taskbar. And also, if we go to the settings, And then to apps, installed apps. You can actually uninstall Copilot. It might come back on some Windows updates, like a big update. So keep that in mind. And it might not remove it from everything. So if you want to completely try to uninstall it, you could come here and do that. Or what you could do, if you don't want it on your taskbar, just right click on it, unpin. And then for Microsoft Edge, you just need to open it up. You can see we have Copilot right here. All right, so you want to go to the three dots here. Go to Settings. And then Appearance. Scroll down. Look for Copilot and Sidebar. So here you can turn off the Sidebar, but if you want to just keep the Sidebar but not Copilot, you could click on Copilot here. And then do that, and you can see it disappears from the bar up there. Right, then you can see if we click on the search box, we have Copilot up here. So if you uninstall it, it might remove it from here, but then again, it might come back. But if you just want to disable it or remove it from here temporarily without uninstalling Copilot altogether, uh, we have a batch file to do that. All right, so we have one file here to remove it and then one to add it back. So if we edit this in Notepad, you can see what it does. So I'll remove it and then restart Explorer. And here's the one to add it back. All right, so I'm going to right-click the Remove, Run as Administrator. Say yes to the UAC prompt. So it's restarting Explorer, which sometimes will kill your background, like in my case. But this usually happens because I'm recording at a low resolution. Now you can see it's gone. And add it back. You can see it's back. All right, so there are your methods you could use to remove Copilot from Microsoft Office, remove it from the taskbar remove it from Microsoft Edge, and then remove it from the search box. So I'll put a link in the description where you can download those batch files in case you want to try out the uh, search box method. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.